In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an opt-in on your footer just like this. Without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using our free header and footer template. The link to that is in the video description below. I've already gone ahead, downloaded it, and now it's time to install it on our website. To install, come all the way down here to Divi, click on Theme Builder. Next, go to Portability. Click on import and then we're going to drag and drop our file here to install it. Now make sure you unzip the file. Next, we're going to click on import theme builder template. Let's get rid of the header and click on this pencil icon. So I'm going to hover over here and delete this, delete the next one and then delete the button. Next, we need to add our email opt-in. So I'm going to click on this plus button, search for email opt-in and select it. Next, we're going to add our title. And for the button, instead of subscribe, I'm going to say join today. Next, we're going to need our description. So I'm going to paste my description in here. For this email opt-in to work, you need to connect this to your email service provider. Scroll all the way down here to email account. Now, once you've connected it, you need to add your API key. And once you've added your API key, you just click on add. Add your account name, API key, and then hit submit. Next, you want to come over here to your success action. So here you can add your message. And then finally, you want to come over here to your background and remove this background here. So I'm going to click on transparency. All right. So next it's time now to customize our opt-in. So I'm going to come over here to the design tab, go into fields, and we're going to scroll all the way down here to our font. So our font here is going to be DM Sans. I'm going to select it. And we're also going to make sure that everything is all centered. Now let's add some rounded corners. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here. And for this, we're going to add 20 pixels. Now let's work on our header. So I'm going to come over here, click on this uh, paintbrush icon. And again, we're going to use DM Sans, select it. And we need to align this to the center. And for the line height, we're going to set this to 1.15. For our text size, we're going to set this to, let's say, 38. All right, so now let's work on our body font. So I'm going to choose my font here, and it's DM Sans. Set the size to 16 pixels and make sure that it's centered. And for our line height, I'm going to set this to 1.8. Now let's customize our button. So I'm going to scroll down until I find my button and activate Use Custom Styles for Button. We're going to start by adding our button background color. So click on this plus button and paste your color in here. For our text size, we're going to set this to 14 pixels. And now it's time to set our border radius to 37. So for our button font, we're going to set this to DM Sans and make it all caps. We are also going to set our font weight to bold. The next step is to add padding to our button. So I'm going to start off by adding 15 pixels to the top and 12 to the bottom. And then side to side, we're going to set this to 22. So that's all we need to do for now. The next step now is to go to our columns. Click here on row settings. And the column we need is the third one. So I'm going to click on this gear icon, click on design. And then we're going to come over here to border and set it to 10 pixels. Next, we're going to come over here to spacing and we are going to adjust this and set this to 42, both to the top and the bottom and left and right is going to be at 20 pixels. Finally, we're going to come over here and get rid of this image. So delete it. So now let's save our footer and take a look at our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.